Hello there and welcome in another tutorial in Maya. This time we're gonna make a human face. So on the start, don't forget to make your project, it's really important. Second of all, we will just get some images out of the internet, but you have to remember that uh, the best images are all render or drawings. Don't pick up the images which are kind of pictures of the like, famous people and all stuff because usually they're not gonna match the lines not gonna match and all this sort of stuff so and you're gonna get a lot of problems with this so we need to set up a, a workspace that's gonna be X Okay, when we set up our workspace, we don't need grid. And when we create the um, primitives, make sure this one is not on. So cube gonna pop up on the middle. And that's like absolute middle. So just make this one bigger. Those lines need to match the sides of the face. And the top one need to match the top of the face. From the side view, front of the face, need to match this line. So when we have our cube ready, just turn on the X-ray, and we're gonna divide it. This is gonna be two, this one four, this one three. So we have one edge on the middle, three edges on the front. And on the side as well, three. I mean, on the side, just two. So, see the way we're gonna delete this part. We didn't need it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna duplicate it. Okay, duplicate special. Make sure it's an instant word and minus one from for the X. Okay, all done. So next thing we're gonna do, we need to add some edges. Those edges are gonna be a bit tricky and like we're gonna do it differently than most of the models. And we're gonna take interactive split tool and we need to make triangle here, another triangle over here. We're gonna make some more triangles. Okay. From the middle, we're gonna get one it's going up of, on the top. Another one is gonna be from this point between the nose. Like it's not the nose yet, but gonna be soon up over here just don't worry about this now how it looks like we're gonna do it later on we're gonna make the edge make sure it's equal distance and just one go again to interactive one connect those two edges also, we need to take this edge, uh, it doesn't like this one, we don't need this one over here, and then we need this edge, and we have to go on the middle over here. Okay, zoom it, the vertices, the four, we really want that. Them together. Over here, connect eight, not eight. Down here, there are four. We don't want that. Connect them together. Here as well, we don't want this one. Connect them. The rest should be fine. Ah, just connect, but take those ones as well. I don't want those ones to connect. 
Oh, we've got one. This one is fun. This one too. Okay. So as we're gonna look at the face, we're gonna make this kind of shape. Now we have to put it in the correct place. So all the eyes, this kind of part, need to go up. This part to go up as well, just like the nose, this one down there. This geometry represents the muscles, how, how they are like um, allocated the uh, human face basically an uh, anatomical shape all the muscles and all the workflow of the muscles and it's kind of really important to do it on the beginning because later on it's gonna be much easier for us to to add the edges and manipulate them a bit higher actually though this one it's not the um, eye this one is just part of the eye this part not just the um, eye shape so as we can see here I'm just gonna turn on the x-ray right now we have kind of um, minecraft sort of face which is not looking so so nice but that's for now now we're just gonna have to shape it a bit more okay this part going next to the jar jar or some kind of just this this part I'm not gonna make neck from from it so don't worry just gonna need, I mean if you're gonna I think about the making neck, we're gonna make it later on. Try to put the edges like um, in a nice, in a nice flow. Now it's time for the front. Okay, now it's looking like proper Minecraft, but that's not what we're aiming. We're aiming for the nice, like human-looking face. We're gonna get that. Okay, so now it's kind of important bit. You're gonna shape the shape the edges on the front of the face and now what we have to remember try to select just those ones like if we're gonna try to work just in this perspective we're not gonna see which exactly vertex we're selecting and which one we're shaping so it's good one if we're gonna select from here and we're gonna see where the edge have to go for example this one it have to be in the back of the eye this, all of these edges 
with a this one you see it's inside the eye so some over here next to the cheek those two have to go together you see here so this one is part of the nose wrap it up this one have to go here one under see so take this edge it's making nice flow over here it's also it's also like kind of dependent which which type of face is this because um, as we know the females and males have different face and um, usually females have uh, bigger eyes and bigger cheeks than the man face so later if you're gonna look at the images this one is kind of neutral one so keep this one in mind it's kind of important otherwise if you're gonna try to make a female it's gonna pop out like a man it's don't we don't really want that to be to happen okay but that's like a wipe like a frame of the mouth also just make sure all of those are placed correctly so as we can see now we have a we have a, like a look of on of the face it's not looking great amazing but it's it has this this um, shape like really really fast time but of course it's not there yet and I spend a lot of times just to move in the edges and Make sure it's looking everything correctly and just add the edges, just add more details. It's kind of an um, important thing. One, one more thing, what we're gonna do here is uh, make the edge over here and just go in the side. Um, just want to come from there. Sometimes there's a problem with that split polygonal tool. Just want to pop out correctly. We need this edge over here. Here we have these vertices over here. We're just gonna create the edge. So, as we can see, you have like human looking face or like low poly for old fashioned games. Okay, in the next part, we're gonna go put more details, focus on the eye, 
And remember to use a uh, lot of speed polygonal tool, don't just insert the edges and mess up on the back. We don't need that. It's completely not necessary. Make sure just all the details are on the front and then don't make faces some kind of like this. We're gonna fix this later and just just looking like this now because here we're gonna put more details for the chick. So see you in the next lesson.